Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about the dead document which you must refer if you want to know about the plant. Initially, if you want to know about the plant or process, so the first document which you must prefer that is the block flow diagram, right? Instead of referring the process flow diagram or PNID, I'll suggest you that please follow first of all the block flow diagram right so what is the block flow diagram what is the guidelines to prepare the block flow diagram who is the responsible for issuing the block flow diagram that we are going to discuss in this video and what is the importance of the block flow diagram that we are going to discuss in this video right so let's start the video with what is block flow diagram okay so the block flow diagram which is also known as the bfd is a drawing or document which gives the simple view or the bird view of the bird view you can say or the overview you can say to understand the plant let's suppose if there is the urea plant okay so instead of initially let's suppose if you are a newcomer or new engineers okay recruit in a plant so instead of referring the pnid or the pfd I'll suggest you simply go through the first of all the block flow diagram. Why with the block flow diagram? Because that document will consist the or it will gives you the simple view to understand the plant or the process through a blocks. Okay. And in that blocks, which is mainly consist of the unit operation and unit process. Are you getting my points? Let's suppose if you have to show the distillation process. So what you will show? You will simply show this with the help of the boxes. Okay. And from the up top view, there will be the gases. Then there will be the another streams. And from the bottom, there will be the residues. Right. But in the PNID, you will show there are the so many lines. Okay. Each line will be there in the distillation. Okay. Now, see this is, let's suppose this is the simple blocks where from the compressor there is the carbon dioxide is coming and from the ammonia storage there is the liquid ammonia is stored in the ammonia storage tank now from there it is going into the reactor right and from reactor there is the chemical reaction is happening and then your urea becomes are you getting my point so this is the simple view and this is the bird view of the plant right but in the pfd or in the pnid it will be the very complex so the bfd simply what it do it simplified the complex process plant right to understand the newcomers right and this is the initial document which mainly we prepare during the bdep so why we require the bfd so simply it is simple to understand the plant via blocks okay the first importance of the bfd the second importance is that it simplify the complex problem or the complex process for understanding, right? Let's suppose if there is a urea plant, so entire urea plant, if you want to understand or you want to take the overview, so BFD is the best option to refer. Then see, this BFD is the starting point for the PFD right then this pfd is the starting point for the pnid so that's also the process goes the first of all the bfd prepare then the pfd prepare and then the pnid prepare okay as i told you earlier this is the initial document which we mainly which we prepare during the basic design engineering package okay so in the basic design engineering package where we make the bfd sometimes we do not make it okay why we do not make it instead of the bfd we simply prepare the pfd okay so in the next video we will discuss about this that is the process flow diagram right so now how to prepare the bfd so simply so there is nothing to prepare the BFD. First of all, what you have to do, you have to simply divide the process into the simplified blocks. Okay, that I'll also show you. Then the process lines that the main lines which you can say that you you can simply represent in the straight lines. Okay, with the arrows and the direction of the flow, right? 
means let's suppose if this is the your straight line it means that your flow is going from the left to right right and after that the flow direction will be left to right mainly whenever we make the pfd bfd or pnid we mainly start from the left to right okay while you are preparing the pfd bfd and pnid the approach which we follow or mainly the follow is left to right yes you can go from the right to left but mainly it is followed at from left to right right then in the bfd mainly we do not mention the so many information but yes if there is any critical information okay which you want to like mention then you can mention it it could be size it could be temperature pressure then the light stream like the gases you can simply show like that okay and the liquid okay and the heavy stream like the liquid or solids you could express like that right let's suppose if this is the tank and from there the gas are generating so it will be it will be like that and if there will be a solid is going or solid is or the residual is there so it will be like that then the major flow rates you can show here or the simplified material balance or the hmb which we say that you can simplify or show here right if i talk about the gas or heavy stream it means that from here the gases are generating so gases whenever you will express the off gases or the gases so it will be like that right because it will always go from the upper end of the equipment same the liquid and solid will be go from the bottom side got it my point so simply see here this is the block flow diagram for the sulfuric acid plant and if you will see here so these all the raw material is coming from here and then it is going into the hop like in the melting section we are hopper and from the hopper it is going to the sulfur filter right and so on it is going from here then the waste heat boiler is there means what i want to say that everything which i have shown you that is shown by the blocks right so these blocks helps us to understand the plant in a easy way and here you can say that the s there is the g g means this is the gas okay and there is the phase is gas right and if let's suppose a a means there is the air same if there will be the s it means that it is the solid and if there is the l it means there is the liquid right so this is the simple block flow diagram which we mainly prepare for the any plant okay so to understand the plant or to understand the bird view of the plant right so i hope you have understood about the block flow diagram what is the meaning of the block flow diagram why we prepare the block flow diagram what is the what is the significance of the block flow diagram right so if you have any doubt in this video please let me in the comments box so if you have any suggestion about the upcoming videos please let me in the comments box so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning